just faster, that's all. Maybe you should take some racing tips from Jackie Stewart. I'll show that silly duck that I'm responsible enough to be in charge. No matter what it takes. Is this my delivery? Oh my my, yes! If they're not signals, then what are they? These are overhead power lines. We're so proud to tell you with today's sponsors, Mainland's Model Works. And you may be wondering, have you ever been a trains fan of Thomas and Friends? Then go to this website, Mainland's Model Works. Mainland's Models Workshop is a one-of-a-kind trains website where you can actually download the diesels and steamies on your computer and you can play on trains 19, 20, 22, or 23. This website can also give you sets, routes, and so much more. I love how that mainland use all the sets and make it like a great masterpiece of Basel and the Electric Railway. This website can give you many more ideas of you, and you can just check them out. They even got Standard, Narrow, and of course, Miniature. Oh my my, yes! They even have non rail characters, and even more of that. You can actually use them for making your own trains content, but you can also give them credit at the end of the video. I usually love how they use the Legacy Trains content, like Thomas, Frankie, Gator, even Luke. Here's more of that. You can also meet the team who even makes the Trains models and used to work them for their own Trains content videos. So check them out in the link in the description below, and you can actually give shout out to Mainland and so much more. And also, if I were to get some Trains models at Mainland's Model Works, it would be really awesome for me to make Trains content, but I would rather think of something more to that, really. Thank you so much, Mainland's Model Workshops, for today's sponsored video. They're awesome. Check them out in the description below. Oh, I gotta like that set, by the way. Alright, I can see the map. I feel like I seen this, like, back on summer, last summer. In 2023. In the south of Sodor, lost in the mountain range, lies a branch line. It runs from the junction at Kildane high into the mountains, reaching the Coldyfell Railway and the island's aluminium plant. In its heyday, it was used daily for passenger and tourist attractions, but now only remains as a goods line, connecting Wiff's Wastem to the main line. It served its purpose for many years, but with Sir Topham Hat expanding the railway, there was bound to be trouble for the engines. But our story starts a few years later. Oh yes, the Tales of Thomas and his friends. Basil and the Electric Railway. Hey goodness, I always want to say thank God. His videos are like amazing. I would give like a quick shout out on this one, really. Easy does it, Judy. Don't you worry, I've got it. Man, Judy is like Duck amazing. Judy and Jerome were replacing old sections of track and setting up new power lines on the old Kilgadget branch. Nicely done, Judy. Right. Now that that's out of the way, we just need Casey and Megan to connect the, um... Oh, where'd they go? Oh, where have they gotten to now? Oh, wait, I was gonna say... <laughs> she drifts into the ah! I was gonna say it, though. Into turn four, with five wins under her rims, can she win another? She zooms past the old willow tree! Huh. Round the corner! Oh wait, <gasps> Sora power? She darts into the bridge and into... Victory! What? Yo, whoa! This is her sixth win in a row, folks! <laughs> hey, Casey, you cheated. Look at those! Cheated? Look at this, Casey and Megan are like Megan? pretty awesome. Oh my I'm goodness, faster. I'm so That's sorry. All. This is awesome. Maybe you should take some racing tips from Jackie Stewart. I'd rather take racing tips from a tractor. I think Jackie Stewart knows a thing or two more about racing than a tractor. You need to get your bucket out of the clouds, race car. Says the oversized light bulb. Don't make <laughs> the oversized much. light. Oh, light. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to cause a serious accident one day if you don't control your battering ram of a pickup. Casey, Megan, what did I tell you about running off? We need you to help install the power cables now. 
What's the matter, duck? Oh. Can't handle a bit of fast-paced action once in a while? You steam engines are so uptight. I bet you I could run this operation with my arm behind my back and not be so stressed out as you. I think Duke's starting to get wrinkles with how much frowning he's been doing. <laughs> fast-paced action is what will get you in trouble if you don't slow down and do your work properly. Well, if long arm didn't take so long to get ready, I wouldn't have time to do laps around the woods, would I? I could easily find time to get my work done and have fun if I was in charge. Be patient, Casey. Rush around too quickly and you won't have long arm up here to pick you up if you fall over. Huh. Power loin maintenance is a very delicate job. You can't rush a delicate job. Says the one not in the power crew. We'll get back to work, Duck. I usually feel like sorry for uh, Megan, I say. I'll show that silly duck that I'm responsible enough to be in charge, no matter what it takes. Okay, no wonder why Casey is being bossy all the time, really. Like, no other reason why that 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 Megan is so bossy all the time because she's rude. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four. Let's watch the magic. This is a lot of characters that Mainland Studios added. One of the best directors of the world, really. The Electric Railway. Oh wait, there's Merlin. Oh my goodness, Merlin's so cool. Who? Oh. <laughs> Terribly sorry. I was actually glad that he didn't even uh, hit Rosie. Oh, oh. <laughs> after you. <laughs> he just wanted his eyes. <laughs> out of the way, out of the way. Oh no, Samson. Oh no, my god, my god, my god. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh no, oh no. Well, this is irritating. Could he just have like wait for the engines in order that they look? On! Oh wait, that's right! Journey Beyond Sonar. Wait, wait, wait. I'm realizing now, I, I remember I watched this. Like... <laughs> busy, busy, busy! Hmm... Number two... Number two... Alright, here's that word. <gasps> Number two! <laughs> Edward's just fine, thanks. Oh, of course, Edward. I must say, what's all the hubbub today? I haven't seen this yard this busy since we got our steel contract with Sir Topham Hatt. It's always this busy, Merlin. Vickerstown is a very busy place. Is this my delivery? Oh, my, my, yes. This is one of our biggest loads yet. I feel like I'm going to fall to pieces. <laughs> Don't be silly, Merlin. You've got plenty of strength left. More than I can say. <laughs> well, if Thomas is an example of you sonar engines, you can get this train delivered in two toots of your whistle. I'll do my best. Thanks, Merlin. Any time, Eduardo. Hmm. I was actually glad that Merlin meets Edward for the first time. A bunch of old signals would wear you down, Edward. They're not signals, James. If they're not signals, then 
What are they? These are overhead power lines. They're used to provide electricity. But why do we need so many electric power lines here on Sodor? I'm not sure. I think it has something to do with the construction work up at Peel Godred. Huh. Oh, so this must be my special. The Fat Controller said I had to take a train to Kildane for Duck to collect. That's the junction for the branch line. Huh. Well, there you go then, Thomas. Maybe you can see what the fuss is all about. Take it easy, though. It's very heavy. Man, I always... I think I, I would agree with that word, though. But it's not that heavy, but it could. <clears throat> Oh. All right, he got it. He got it. Yep, yep, he got it. Why? Wait, wait, why do I always get the feeling that Thomas pulls heavy loads? Thomas puffed along the line, his heavy train rattling slowly behind him. It was hard work, but he was excited to see the construction work. But he couldn't stop thinking about the power lines. Whoa. Hiya, Thomas. Jack! Nice to see you again. All right, Are Jack. Are you the construction team restoring the branch Sweet. line? Oh, no. we just been fixing up the station, and we built a new motor rail terminal. My goodness, this is a great uh, construction they're working on. I've been rushed up my wheels filling in the last of the foundations. Wow, that sounds exciting. Have you seen Duck anywhere? He's supposed to be collecting my train. Uh, oh, here he comes now. Afternoon, Jack. Thomas. Hello again, Duck. I best get back to work. It was nice seeing you again, Thomas. Huh. These must be my power lines. Good thing you brought them here on time. Um, Duck, can I ask why they need power lines and electricity for this old branch line? That information is classified, Thomas. I was only curious, that's all. Perhaps you should focus on your own work rather than worry what work I'm meant to be doing. Speaking of which... Bang. Megan, the new poles are here. Time to head back to the work site now. I always wanted to have the same thing, like... Oh, excuse me! Like, Sorry totally, to bother yeah. you. <clears throat> I've never seen you here before. Are you working on the construction? Yes, I am. I'm Megan. Nice to meet you, Megan. I'm Thomas. That's a funny looking light bulb on your back. It's not a light bulb, it's a spotlight. Oh, it wait, a spotlight, okay. Work at night, or if there's been a power cut. Well, that's really useful. What are you doing on the branch line? Has there been a power cut? Don't be silly. We're restoring the branch line so electric engines can run on it. Electric engines? Electric engines? Oh yeah, I heard manager talking about it with the fat controller. Something about the line is too steep for a steamy or diesels to run on it full time. So he wants to convert the line to electric so electric engines can use it instead. It's more efficient, you see. But there aren't any electric engines here on Sodor. <laughs> Except for my friend Stafford. Maybe he'll work on the line when we're finished, but there's still much to do. Have to go. Nice meeting you, Thomas. Oh, I... Oh. Wait, I did not know that, really. Are you okay, Thomas? You look worried. It's nothing, Percy. It's just, I'm nervous about the work going on at Kildane. Oh, please, don't tell me you're still on about those silly signals, Thomas. But they're not signals, James. They're overhead power lines. They're used to run the engines on electricity. Electric engines? Like Stafford? Maybe. A lorry also mentioned something about converting to electricity. What if one of us is going to become electric and run on the new line? They said it was quicker, easier, and cheaper to use electricity instead of coal and water. Even the fat controller said so. Those lorries sound like Diesel. The way he's always talking about how we're inefficient. Hmm. What if the fat controller makes the whole island electric? 
I'm sure if the Fat Controller had any plans for big changes, he would tell us. Besides, who would want to replace a splendid engine like me? This is bigger than you, James. I'm worried the electric railway will change Sodor for good. Oh, no. Like, well, like why would they change Sodor for good? I mean, isn't there, like, you know, like, explanation or something? You know, I the mean... next morning, James arrived at the shunting yard for a special train. No coaches again. Just boring, meaningless goods trains. Not what from I hear, James. Hey, it's Stafford. This train is for the construction up at Kildane. Oh, it sounds very exciting. Oh, how I'd love to go and visit... Kildane? This loan must be part of the plan to electrify the railway. Uh, what plan? Uh-oh. James! James! Oh, wait, stop. stop, James! Your load! Your load isn't tied your down! Load. Come back! Wait, come back! Uh, James! Your load isn't secured properly! James, come back! Uh oh. No wonder why he ran off that fast. He knew something. Wait, actually, he didn't know something. Alright, there's Caitlyn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ha! I bet an electric engine couldn't stop that quickly! I'm actually glad that one of these. James soon arrived at um, Kildane Station, 15 minutes early. I I'm actually glad Wait, that some that of the quick, pipes James. weren't uh, derailed. That's what happens when you're a true steam engine duck and far superior than any silly electric buzz box. The Great Western is not silly, James. And how did you know about the electric engines? Thomas told me. News travels fast on a small island, you know. Oh, I did not know How that. Did Thomas find out about the electric engines? Uh oh. Megan. Oh no. Uh oh. Watch out. He's gonna be shocked to know this. Come on. One lap around the woods. I know you'll keep up this time. No, Casey. Doc will be back soon. He'll flip his lid. Well, if she won't race, I guess I'll do some time trials. I was actually glad that Megan was doing the right thing. <laughs> That's the last time I trust a lorry with a secret. Duck, you okay there? Eh? Huh? What? Oh, um, I'm fine, Judy. Right. This is the last load for this section before the middle station. I'm gonna run round. Judy, Jerome, get crewed up. What about me, Duck? You can stay out of the way. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, Where's Casey? We need to finish this section of line by sundown. Oh, no. Why don't you tell her? Because she's racing. <laughs> Fastest lap. Here I come. Watch out. Watch out. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Whoa, watch out. No. Look out! No, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh, no. <sighs> that was a close one. Is everyone all right? We're all good here. Thank goodness. That's good. For a oh. second, I thought, look out! Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Doug's coming in. Duck! First I have Casey mouthing off, and now I have Megan to deal with. That power crew are a complete pain in my bunker. Oh, no, stop, 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 stop! Oh, oh. Stop, 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 oh, stop, no. stop, 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 stop! Oh, oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh man. That was shocking. What were those rails doing on the line? No one touched the rails, Duck. Honest. Huh. Likely story. I bet that is Casey. Uh, 
Uh oh. Here comes Sir Topham Hat. I hope you're happy, Casey. Because of your reckless games, you've put one of my engines out of action. I'm truly sorry, sir. It won't happen again. I sure hope so. As for you, Doc, what happened? You're usually so aware of your surroundings. I'm sorry, sir. I wasn't looking where I was going. The other engines caught wind about the project, and I was too busy thinking of uh, how it would disrupt my work. Well, Doc, I'm afraid this means you'll be at the steamworks for a while. Uh, You've not no. only damaged your tanks, your frames will need to be mended too. I understand, sir. But who will take over the project while I'm gone? It looks like I will have to borrow a spare from the mainland again. Huh. I can't afford to swap engines around when the railway is this busy. The mainland, sir? You know how tricky some of those engines can be. I'm aware, Doc. But if we want the branch line running before the summer, I have no other choice. Oh dear. I pretty much do felt sorry for Duck and I'm just shocked. I'm really sorry for him. Oh, there he is. He's at the mainland. Ah, Mr. Arrow. Call me Bill, Sir Topham. So, run the problem by me again? One of my engines has been sent for repairs, and I don't have anyone else who can fill in for him. I tried contacting Mr. Rayleigh over at Briglington, but he doesn't seem to have any spare engines. I was wondering if you can spare one of your shunters. Why, certainly, sir. I'm just a chap. Basil! Oh, there he is! Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there he is, Basil. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Arrow, sir, it's a good thing I caught you. I've shunted train number four for the late night goods train, and I've got train number 16 ready to go first thing in the morning, just like you asked. Uh, is there anything else I can get done for you, sir? Basil, I'd like you to meet Sir Topham Hat, the controller of the Northwestern Railway. Wow. <laughs> the name's Basil. Oh, it's an absolute honor to meet you, sir, it is. Oh. Wait, is he staring? Oh, he is. He's a bit small for his class. Floor design. He was the prototype before they made adjustments. He's an honest lad. He just had a little bit of trouble adjusting now and then. Oh. Now, Basil, Tom Matt needs help with a special project on his railway, and I need someone to go and help him. Oh, so you want me to go find Samson then, sir? Oh, I'm on it, sir. <laughs> no, Basil. I'd like you to go to his railway and help him out. Me, sir? Are you sure? Indeed, Basil. Well, if you want, I'd be happy to help out. Splendid. I'll have him cleaned up, checked over, and sent first thing in the morning. Excellent. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Basil. You too, sir. Mr. Arrow, are you sure I'm the right choice? You know how much of a mess the yard was when I first got here. And look how well it runs now. All you needed was time to adjust to your new surroundings. Yeah, I suppose so. Huh. I know you'll make me proud, Basil. This might be a big break. The Northwestern does wonders for engines like you. I won't let you down, Mr. Arrow. That's a good lad. Now, finish your engine hero's train and then get yourself to the sheds. Sweet. I want you to be well rested for tomorrow. I'm actually glad that Basil is going to be helping on the island. My goodness, man. This is actually pretty amazing, really. You know, like how it's awesome and uh, pretty much great. That's him. Thomas is the one that you know so well. James loves his friends as much as he loves himself. Edward may be old, but he's really quite wise. Gordon's big and bustle as he works on the main line. Henry's a gentle giant with a heart of gold. Percy's a cheeky male pulling little fellow. Emily's a bit bossy, but lovely nonetheless. And Toby is somebody you'd be proud to call a friend. Oh, man. 
You know what? Never mind. This song is not fire. I can't stop listening to it, really. My goodness, this song is like absolutely amazing. I take like 100 out of 100. Man, this is like incredible. Like, 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 can you like imagine like all the incredible songs like they added? That's all I ever wanted to have. Man, this song is incredible. It was sang by um, Arcade Productions. Oh, wait, what happened to... Wait, I didn't know what happened to Thomas yet. I mean, what happened? All right, there's Angus, the fire truck. My goodness, wait, wait, this one is on fire, really. I love it. Dial E for electric. Sweet. All right, this is uh, going to be awesome. I like how that Basil is pretty amazing. <laughs> like, like he's like bringing hype to Sodor. Hey, D261. Man, you, you know what's great? It's like everything I like that I like, really. Like, it was pretty amazing. Oh, wow. Sweet. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, uh, good morning. Oh, it's very nice to meet you. This station is very different from Barrow. My oh, goodness. My name's Basil. What's yours? It's like the first... Oh, uh, oh. Have a nice day, then. It could be nice... Uh, you know, I mean, it could be nice if he could meet Rosie again, because... He passed her. So I was thinking like that. Ah, you must be Basil. Well, let me be the first to welcome you to the island of Sodor. You'll be working with Judy and Jerome today. Then later, you'll have to collect supplies from James. Hello! It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about this amazing railway and all the work you do. I'm very excited to get started. Oh, look at him, Judy. Isn't he sweet? Tell us, Basil. Have you done a construction job before? Um... I don't think so. Uh, I usually just sent trucks back home. I'm sure they had lots of construction-y things in them. <laughs> don't worry too much. You'll have us to help you each step of the way. All you have to do is ask. I was actually glad that Basil met Judy Jerome for the first time. Oh no, what is Casey doing? If you're not careful, you're going to knock the tree down, Casey. Well, Megan, that's why I am being careful. No harm in collecting a few apples. What are you even going to do with those? We can't exactly eat them. They're not for me. Casey, for the last time, you can't keep a squirrel as a pet. Oh, the new engine's here. Yes, he is, isn't he? Oh, there he is, Basil. Man, this diesel is pretty good, like, oh, all the way hello awesome. there. My name's Basil. You must be Casey and Megan. I've heard all about you, power crew. That's right. Welcome to the Peel Godred Electrification Project. Right, everyone. This is Basil. I'm sure you'll get acquainted in good time, but because of Duck's incident, we're a bit behind schedule, so we don't have time for chit-chat. We've got the station to finish up, and we got to set up the lines for the station throat by the end of the week. Basil, we're relying on your strength to keep the project moving. Yes, uh, of course. Well, I wouldn't say I'm that strong, but I'll do my best. Well, if your best is what you did to get us up here, then that should be perfectly fine. Right, team. Let's make Sir Topham Hat proud. Make Sir Topham Hat proud. Oh, no. oh boy, this is gonna be incredible, really. Wait, this is like, um, uh, this is like a preview of the updates. Oh, wait, he could have. <laughs> wait, 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 that could have, like, you know. Like... Never mind. Uh, Judy, the flatbeds are empty now. Are we done for the day? I think it's time for that special job the foreman talked about this morning. Oh, right. Collect supplies from James. Back in a tick. Yep, James. Are you forgetting something? Engine. 
Oh, the flatbeds, of course. Oh, right. He could have Sorry. left it there, really. Something don't add up about that Basil. What do you mean? He's brand new, don't know a thing about power lines, yet everyone is putting their faith in a little dinky diesel. Sounds like a lot of eggs in one basket to me. Would know about baskets. And what about now? How does he already know James? He just got here. There's no way he met another engine. Well, he is taking over for Duck. I already like him better since he doesn't order us around. And I'm sure the foreman or someone told him about James's delivery. Mm. I know way more than him. I am part of the power crew. I'm electrifying. Why don't I get the important job? Something's off about the engine. Oh, no. Yeesh. This is exactly why if, like... Like, imagine Casey of being a spy. Like, really. There's James. Wow. Okay, this is some good animation there, right? Again, you great western. Oh, you're not duck. I never said I was a bird. Uh, my name's Basil. I'm helping with the important electrification project. Well, I'm James. I help out with important things, too. Pleasure to meet you, James. So, you're working on this electable station nonsense? I beg your pardon? Oh. Oh, come on. You know what I'm talking about. Every engine on Sodor knows that electrifying this old branch line won't work. It's a waste of time, if you ask me. It's just too steep for engines. I think it's rather exciting. Think of all the new opportunities it'll bring to the towns along the line. Oh. <laughs> of course you would think that, wouldn't you? If I didn't know any better, you actually sound excited to work on this run-down branch line. Well, I wouldn't say it's run down. Just need some love and care, that's all. It should stay a good line. It's a waste of the back controller's resources. Nothing wrong with the way it was before. You don't see me being all electric this and electric that. Oh, well, you brought it up. And what's so efficient about electricity, huh? I was 10 minutes early arriving here today, and I didn't need to be an electric engine to do that. Now, did I? If you were here 10 minutes early, you must have been exceeding the speed limit. Did you start off late and try to make up for lost time? <laughs> uh, uh, just what would oh, you know geez, about I was laughing at the background is here. Greasy little diesels like you belong in the yard where they can't cause delay. Now stay off our rails, you little green bugger. Oh! Bro, man, he could have been, like, nice to him, really. Sheesh. I mean, there's no way that James is such a a bully. Like, he's, like, like, he's, like, being rude, Basil. I mean, I mean, come on, I can give him a chance. He got here, Oh, man. Basil. What's got a new so down? I went to get the supplies like you said, but that James engine was very rude. He said the project is a waste of time and I should be relegated to a yard because that's all I'm good for. Don't take it to heart. James is often like that. But I was only trying to be polite. Uh oh Maybe he's right. I should just stay in the yard and work by myself. Ah, well, James just wants everyone to think he's splendid, and you made him look silly. I promise it's nothing to do with you. But he's right, isn't he? I've never had to work on a whole branch line before. Listen, Basil. It's gonna be hard for you to adjust straight away. It's a new place with new faces popping in every day. It'll take time to feel comfortable somewhere new. What is important, though, is that you have us to help you every step of the way. Yeah, hmm. I suppose. Maybe in time, I'll be friends with everyone, even James. And he has the nerve to call me late after I was early. <laughs> the nerve of that little twap. Oh. He's out of line, but he is right. And another thing. Something doesn't add up about him, too. He seems way too excited to electrify the branch line, like he wants the railway to become electric. Maybe that's why ducks at the steam works, getting all electrified. I knew that accident must have been a cover-up. You don't think he's here to spy on us for electric engines? Oh. A, a spy? No, 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 no. Tick. Take out the weak ones and replace us. Oh, no, we no, 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 have to find out what's going on up there and get to the bottom of this. I think James should investigate. Me? Do 
did Henry to do it? <laughs> Blame him with all the trees up there, being green and all. I'm not going to risk getting electrified because you got shown up by some new engine. We need to think logically. If he's going to spy on us... We'll have to send someone to spy on him. A counter-agent? But who? Someone he'll be comfortable with. Someone he'll let his guard down around. Uh... Hello? Stafford? Oh? Would you fancy doing a favor up the line? <laughs> I mean, look at that coy face! <laughs> His face is like making me laugh when, when, when we stare at the camera! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> look at all this! <coughs> Sorry. Uh, wow! Hello! Oh! Hello there! Uh, you must be the new engine, right? Mm. Yes, uh, my name's Basil. By the looks of those shiny nameplates, you must be Stafford? Indeed I am. <laughs> so, what brings you this way? Um... <laughs> Again I, with the uh, face, it's like... Cracking me up. Tell him to not, like the extension is getting too much for just one engine. Oh, wait. I was sent here because the work is getting too much. Too much? Oh dear. Oh well, I appreciate the help. I have visitors once in a while, you know. Oh, you should check out the rest of the line. Uh-oh. Something don't seem right about this one either. Oh no, Casey's Does on every something, engine is Does look suspicious to you now, Casey? I tell you, the lot of them are against us. It's a big railway conspiracy! I bet that battery box is here to shut down our operations to prove our cables aren't reliable. And Basil's in cahoots with him! They're here to make us look like dummies! With you, that's not hard. Say, Meg, he relies on charging his battery, right? What if we bust those ports along the line so the battery boy can't charge? And we put the blame on Basil! So oh, no one will no. suspect us. It's foolproof. Wouldn't that ruin everyone's hard work? It's fine. Once we get the spies out, we'll just rebuild them properly without spies breathing down our exhaust. You distract the new guy while I make our move. Distract him? Oh boy. Just keep him busy. There is like, like, I mean, you could have like let him, like, trust someone. Hello. Uh, hello. I'm Megan. <laughs> the face. I'm Stafford. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. You're on batteries, right? Well, yes. <laughs> what sort do you take? Double A or AAA? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm well, so sorry. Well, it's the face. That, maybe one of those <laughs> big D batteries. Oh, well, it's not that kind of battery. Um, uh, what is your favorite type of battery? What? <laughs> Hiya! New engine? Just heard from the foreman that he wants you to take a train of supplies uh, to the next station. Eesh. So I'm kind of liar she is. Okay. Oh my I'll, god, stop uh, with the face! See you later, Megan. <laughs> okay, this face is cracking me up. I can't, I'm sorry. Sayonara, Spyanara. Oh, Spyanara? What? This is crazy. But but it's only funny. <laughs> oh dear, I'm running low on charge. I oh know dear. these gradients will be hard on our battery. Uh, excuse me. Do you know where I can find the nearest charging port? Uh, there should be one in the far siding. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's nice. I guess. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, oh just something dear. stuck in my throat. That's not good. Um, excuse me. Uh, Basil <laughs> told me these ports were brand new. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure there's another one in the next section. Wait, a minute, I hear Hero's uh, whistle in the background. I kind of like it, yeah. The work is getting too much. Too much what? Too much for me? I know I had a few slip-ups here and there, but not enough for Sir Topham had to get someone else to replace me. Huh. Stafford probably thinks I'm just getting in the way. He has so much more experience on this island. I guess it's back to Barrow for me when this Basil, job is done. Basil, there you are. Have you seen Stafford? 
He's missing. Missing? Uh, but he's only taken a supply train up the branch line. Supply train? What's he doing up there? He was sent to replace me because the work was too much. Replace you? Stafford's not even meant to be here. He's supposed to be a Knackford. Uh-oh. He must be in trouble somewhere. Please go and look for him. Will do, sir. I was actually glad that Basil was going to help Stafford. Now I'm stranded in the middle of nowhere. Wait till I give those big engines a piece of my ma- <laughs> Hello, mate. Sorry about that. I had a juice. I, I, I just kept coughing. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> Please just couple up and get me back to the yard. Hey, I Stafford, need to go chill, home. chill, chill. Oh boy. Why? Why do I always get the feeling that Stafford has to be? But Sir Topham like, has been going know. mad looking for you. I'm truly sorry, sir. I'll finish up here and then I'll head back straight away. And as for you, Basil, you were here to do a job. If you're tired, you should have asked for help instead of sending an engine not rostered to our section to do it. But sir, I, I didn't. I don't want to hear it. You'd better start shaping up or I'll ask Sir Tom how to get another engine. One well, that isn't so lazy. Next time, please make sure your charging ports actually work before sending me off the line. My battery can't take me that far. Broken ports? But they were fine when I put them up this morning. See, taking down those ports was no big deal. Oh no. Like I said. They'll just put him back up tomorrow. Now that silly spy's gone, Basil's in hot water. What could be better? Soon it'll just be us running this joint. No silly engines, just the power crew. Casey. Oh, oh, <laughs> spy. Oh Basil, I boy, guess. he could have heard it's it. Not what it sounds like. Uh oh, Basil's rude. Oh no, he's mad. He knew that. He knew Not it. Very he knew. Smart, was it, Casey? Stafford! Oh, please leave me alone. The power crew took down the charging ports, not me. They admit it just as you left. Are you sure? I swear on my crankshaft's expiry date. Well, uh, that's a relief. You nearly had me worried for a moment. I know you wouldn't do such a thing. I can tell you're a really hard worker. <laughs> you had me worried as well. I thought you didn't like me after you found out the charging ports were damaged. I thought you were a spy. <laughs> <laughs> you thought oh, I was boy, a spy? Just the other way, guys. <laughs> That's what Casey and Megan called you. Well, the big engines told me to be a spy. I was a little skeptical that you were one. But <laughs> it's all cleared up now. Indeed it is, Stafford. I think those power lorries will be hearing about their silliness from the foreman. Oh, oh, oh no. no. I was so busy racing around all day that I didn't fill up. <laughs> I guess it's my turn to help you. Earth, would you knock down and destroy all our hard work? Uh -oh. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. I Unbelievable. Just... One more slip up from you, Casey, and I will not hesitate to have you sent back to the power station. Oh boy, what's it? He's, what's it? Casey's in trouble now. So, what are they planning? Uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. I only help with a few supplies, and that new engine, Basil. <laughs> oh, he's very friendly. <laughs> Not a spy at hey, all. Yes, 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 yes. Whatever. But were you able to find out what his plan was? I don't think he was planning anything. He's just trying to get his work done. Are you sure about him, Stafford? Trust me. He's the last engine to do any harm to anyone. I still can't wrap my funnel around all this. This electric nonsense is bothering all of us. The idea that the railway could have no steam or even any diesel engines is simply impossible to imagine. There's simply no way they'd have a railway with no real engines. Oh, no offense. <laughs> uh, it's all right, Gordon. Basil's <coughs> fine. Just needs some uh, Sorry. getting used Just to his new home. Bad. Oh, and the next time you want me to spy on the electric railway, get someone else to do it. <laughs> okay. All right. I like that guy. Okay. I pretty much like how Stafford sounds so strong, really. Business, Megan. They don't know more than we do. You're just upset because you're not in charge. I am not upset. We've just 
got to find a way to do things the way I want them done. I'm the expert. Basil doesn't know anything. Basil's doing fine, though. Leave him alone. You saw how quick they were to put him in charge? You really want to let the newest guy here tell you what to do? He doesn't even know the station names. I'd have the project done twice as fast if he wasn't around. Oh. What are you thinking, then? We'll show him how we do things here. The power crew way. He's real easy to read. We make our first move tomorrow morning. Then we'll see who's really in charge. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This is going to be shocking, right, guys? Like, the whole thing is, like, crazy.